So I got this pickup truck behind me. And uh, for those of you who know, I do snow plowing, snow removal, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'm sorry, but the greatest thing ever to plow with is a single cab short bed. And uh, this is going to be my spare plow rig. It is a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500. It is a Daytona edition, 5.7 Hemi. It uh, is rusty, it's beat up. It was a work vehicle for quite some time. And uh, I'm just kind of showing you guys this whole thing because I'm going to turn this thing into a snow plowing machine. I will just say that. Um, plans for it so far, we're going to take off all of the plastic valances and all this sweet Daytona stuff. And that's going to just basically go into the scrap pile. And then uh, the entire box is coming off and I'm going to put a flatbed on it changing out the wheels changing out the tires um i don't do 20s you guys should know this by now uh 17s that's what it's gonna have and then i'm gonna put some decent 17s on it some good snow tires um oops. <laughs> but um yeah it runs flawlessly uh the heat works which is basically all i care about i don't care about the ac it has 202,000 miles on it and uh, it's still going strong. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the new project. And uh, we are definitely going to turn this thing into a sweet plow rig, let me tell you. Uh, guys, I know that uh, you kind of recognize that truck that is behind me. This is the Dodge Ram 1500 Daytona edition that I am making into a plow truck. Uh, just, gonna got, just going to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, First off, the shop is getting cleaned out, making that uh, making that progress still taking forever. It's just going to be one of those things. But other than that, the front looks a little different. Side starting to go. I still need to take off this valance, but I will say Alex was here today, and I had to go run pick up some scrappers and stuff like that. So while I was picking up junk vehicles, he was here working away on this and he took the entire bed off. Now, um, I'm putting a flat bed on this that I already have. It will fit right on this frame. It was actually uh, built for a single cab short bed pickup truck. And after that, what we did is we took a chemical called Cora Seal and we just brush it all over the rust and it basically bonds, turns it uh, to basically a paintable surface and then, uh, you know, just inhibits rust from coming back. So that's all there. Just trying to make this thing into a decent running plow truck. And I will show you guys, I have a set of tires here that i'm going to be putting on it that are 17s but i got a real good deal on them so these are it right here these are a 265 70 17 and uh just to kind of give you guys a little preview they are just a tiny 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 bit bigger but um, that's what I got so if I can find something better I'll put it on but for right now I'm going to get some 17 inch wheels throw these on there and at least I'll be able to get some traction in the snow uh, I don't like 20s as you guys should know already and these are just your everyday street tires which are great for if you're driving on the street and there's no snow or anything like that but I will be doing a whole lot more than that with this truck. So, guys, I'll catch up with you soon. I'm going to record again when I'm here this weekend. It is uh, it's Friday night, and I'm going to paint this whole thing and spray bomb it, just the frame, and then uh, up front, I got to get that snowplow um, 
mounted and get the wiring all in. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And till then, we'll talk at you later. Dodge in the shop. Look at this thing. Oh, somebody hit a stop sign in a parking lot. So, uh, yeah, I told you we're going to try and find some 17s. Those look like 17s to me. Those are the most ugly, terrible 20s I've ever seen in my life. So we're gonna take these wheels off, take these tires off, cause they're tiny. And uh, we're going to swap those on. I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to get them to work with these Moto Metals, but they're 10 inches wide. And uh, I'm not gonna sit here and stretch the tire to do that. I'm not messing with it. So. We'll put those on and we'll make it at least look a little bit better. Here it is guys. And uh, put these tires on here. They're finalist uh, Torino all terrains. I got no clue. All I know is that uh, I got them on the clearance aisle at Walmart for $120 for all four. So put those on, put the wheels on, got the flatbed on there. We took the torsion bars, the keys, and we cranked them completely up. We got a little bit of a wheel gap right there, but once I put a V-plow on the front of this thing, it's gonna, it's gonna sag. Um, the bumper is a little bit crooked. It was smashed. We were sitting here with a sledgehammer and all sorts of stuff to try and beat it to get it to straighten out, but it just really didn't want to straighten out. Got it as good as we can. I'm still going to try and get that gap to match that gap on the headlights, but it'll take a little bit. Um, before we did this right here, it was actually rubbing. We got it to bend down, but now we got to get it to go back up, so... This uh, flatbed is going to get all coated with Cora Seal, and it is the weight to help push snow in the winter. And then uh, it just, it's better than a rusty old Dodge box, which happens on pretty much all of these third gens. Uh, for the inside, fancy little door panels, all that. The previous owner was a smoker, so. Definitely going to have to clean everything out of there and get that smoke away stuff so that way it can get the heck out. Um, but this thing is getting near done and it's starting to look like a pretty sweet truck. So way better than what it used to look like, at least in my eyes. So we'll work on it some more tomorrow. We have to get the taillights all wired in, which are back here, of course. As you can see right now, the lights are staying on because they have this sweet system in these Dodges where they pretty much, uh, they have a, a lamp out light that comes on for anything. Because these are LEDs, they have a different resistance. We're actually not even going to wire them into the tail lights. We're going to put them into the trailer lights. So that way I don't have to worry about any of that nonsense then the lamp out will always be displayed on my dash, but I check all my lights every single day. So that's not really gonna be bit, that big of an issue. So hopefully by tomorrow we can button this thing up and uh, it'll be a plow truck. All right, guys, so we have our Project Ram Daytona here, and uh, I'm just going to let you guys know it is it is rough. It's not perfect, but uh, it is 
much, much, much better than what it used to be. And this was, I don't want to say cobbled together, but this was put together with a lot of extra and spare parts or two and three different trucks that I had parts from to make one work. Um, but here it is. This is all of its glory. Now, just so you guys are aware, this is a 2005 single cab short box Dodge Ram 1500. It has the 5.7 liter Hemi in it. And this right here is an eight foot two Boss V plow. Uh, there is my Ram 2500. And as you guys can see, that thing right there has the same exact plow as this right here so same v plow same everything hookups all that the only thing that's different is the undercarriage for the plow um we have all new pretty decent snow tires that i got on a budget we took all of the ugly horrible terrible um body kit off put this nice flatbed on painted it all i will be putting a light up there at some point to have for reverse um wired all the lights in got that all done filler neck all that's in there now still got the ram seat because that's pretty much normal but these trucks have amazing turning radius um all we did was just crank up the torsion keys. Got nice uh, space in there. I will push just as much, if not more snow with this truck than most people will in their crew cab, long beds and all that. And not only will I do it, I will be able to do it a lot easier and get into places. That hood looks real good on there, but it's all done, it's all finished, and uh, we're gonna push some snow because as of today, we are supposed to get up to 16 inches of snow, and I can't wait to go use this thing. We'll catch you later, guys.